Well, hello from the Bernabeu, Derek Ray here with Steve McManaman, former Real Madrid player, of course, twice a Primera champion with Real Madrid, twice a Champions League winner with the Merengues as well. And Maka, we're going to reflect on what we saw in midweek. Paris Saint-Germain won Real Madrid nil, that late goal from Kylian Mbappe, but that wasn't the whole story. Real Madrid were insipid and they've been roundly criticised. Yes, they have been roundly criticised and they're only criticised because they are Real Madrid. When you play for this this wonderful team, you have to be positive, Derek. You have to go and try and create chances. From minute zero against Paris Saint-Germain, they seem to sit back, they seem to relax, they seem to allow PSG to have the ball and dominate possession, which was unusual, really. And the fact they didn't have a shot on target, they didn't look as if they were going to score a goal. We know Karim Benzema had slight injury concerns and was back in the side, but still, they looked as if they were never going to score, to be honest. And you're playing a very tough game because you expect, well, I certainly expect now, that if Paris Saint-Germain come to the stadium with a full-strength team or with the team that they had out against Real Madrid um, the other day and with the fit again Neymar coming back, I cannot see anything but Paris Saint-Germain scoring goals here. So you're behind the back foot straight away, Real Madrid, and they could come to, uh, to really regret it. Yeah, Real Madrid have a serious amount of work to do come the second leg. But let's talk about things that might be in their favour, Maga. For one thing, the away goals rule has gone. So 1-0 yeah. away, not as costly as it used to be. And you've got to feel at some stage, the likes of Karim Benzema, Vinicius Junior, will get clicking again. Yeah, and I think they will. I think they will here. They've got the experience. It's a different, um, of course, a different ground with a different set of circumstances. And when the Champions League nights come around, this place is really rocking and I think they will respond to that and I think given another couple of weeks um, of playing time the likes of Benzema and Vinicius Junior will get better and it will be a different atmosphere and probably a different result I just think that when Paris Saint-Germain come here and they've been here numerous times in recent years we know that with the quality of Messi the quality of Neymar and Mbappe it's very difficult to stop so if you go if you're already coming into a game behind I just think it's very difficult yes I think Real Madrid will score definitely I think they'll score on the evening but will, will Paris Saint-Germain score as well? Probably. In short, the attitude has got to be different from a Real Madrid. It has to be incredibly different. It will be different because the crowds will not let them be as passive as they were in the first half. But it needs it needs something else. It needs a spark. It needs a piece of magic from someone to really get this crowd alight. Because if the piece of magic is from someone on the other team, which it could conceivably be, this place will soon turn into a cacophony of booze and they'll certainly get behind the team in the wrong way. Yeah, will it be one of the great European nights here at the Bernabeu or might it go the other way? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget ESPN FC seven days a week, be sure to subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.